Hello everyone, it is your boy Zendian Gamer here, and today we are back with another video. Uh, this is gonna be interesting because this is only my second time playing this, so this game is scary, but let's see how scary it really is. Let's go. Let's go ahead and start the game. Wait, uh, uh, did it not save? Did it not save? I swear it better had saved. Oh, it did. I was gonna say, but I'd saved. Who was that? Oh, I was at this part. Mm, okay. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Bearing updated. Julia used a bang stick to open the door to the cockpit. Hmm. When life gives you lemons. Ew. No, this woman, I just say when life gives you lemons. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! I don't see anything. I don't know what we would possibly be looking for. He's holding something. I already seen that. He's no, holding see, something. You see, see it though. Oh my god. Oh god, Alex. Bruh, chill out with that, bruh. Chill out, chill out with it's all of that. Shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. What are you doing? 
Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's, it's not the best time. Uh, I had something to, to raise with me. You're kind of... It's on your brain, buddy. Nothing. Nothing. Just kind of shaken up by a little brush with a gruesome and meaningless death. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Uh, Jeez, I mean, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. Cliff, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. My brother's up there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <laughs> Uh Fuck it, I'm going. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little uh mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What are you, what, what, why are you, what's up with that other boat? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever, who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. What no world, bro. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Uh... 
Uh, hey, Dan. hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? Um, I wouldn't experience. I expected it to be cool, but that was that was like life changing cool. What an adventure! I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. What do you mean? Every trip we take together is memorable. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. What's... where is this coming from? I love you, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? I wish I had a girl. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. The Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> Sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you fixin'. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. There, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Better beer or coffee? Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. 
You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the love. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we oh go. God. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brett, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Uh... Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> Uh... Shh. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet says he's in there ah yes the husband and that's why i've always been a little weary of marriage so the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet opens the door and sure enough there's a man inside but he's cut his own throat horrified he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark closer closer and he sees it's his own face and then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Uh, cool story. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out.
Uh, 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 Get me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Oh, we're in tie first. And go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. 
Easy. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No, but I hope he's okay. No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back. Maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. To wait and see what they want to do with us. got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Uh, I can't get, I can't get on that boat. These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. You'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window. Climb around the side and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Conrad! Easy. 
Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. Careful! Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me also. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Oh my god! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this... Manchurian goo? Talking. There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. Uh Out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us Damn up. Damn asshole! Put a cork in it. <sighs> Sit still, all of you. How long the storm is gonna last? Will you try anything? Anything, fish. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Uh. about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Uh, nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-okay out here. 
here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Could help. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Dang. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> you appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off this time but does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable i dare say we'll find out hmm kind-hearted creature i am i'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come tempted uh what will it be you're going it alone Independent, admirable, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that.
dans ce souvenir. Cet endroit, c'est un foutu cimetière. J'espère qu'on est les seuls ici. Bon, là, Floating death trap. Keep moving. not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. What are these guys gonna do with us now? Guard note. Oh, my boy's there. Oh, crap. Watson, you're in part, you see. Okay, all of you. Into the room. and gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of 
prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. This guy, Miller? That seems pretty spooked. Alex? I'm really scared. This is very strange. Hey, I found this letter that was never sent. Okay. Well, it said there were rumors about figures roaming around the cargo. Figures? You want to be more specific? Look, I'm not really sure what he meant. All I know is that I just get this really creepy feeling like something terrible happened here. Something is wrong. I don't like it. I don't like a single thing about this place. Not at all. I found this note. It was back in the bunk room. So it says that this guy, Patterson, kept playing sick, getting out of guard duty when he was supposed to be in the hold. <laughs> mm. Because he did it like a bunch of times. Ugh. Mm. Anyways, it, it doesn't seem like anyone liked it too much down there. So what I'm gathering is the crew... Man, they were pretty creeped out by whatever the hell they were carrying on this ship. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Um, hope they finish me off. What are you talking about? The Back on the Duke, I overheard them talking about the Manchurian gold. <laughs> I really don't think they had any of this planned until the gold caught their attention. We need to watch them closely. This could go from bad to worse if they don't find what they're looking for. So, what do we do? Uh, we need to find the reality Still, where we do it. Look, we need to either find a way out of this room, or we need to be ready to make a move when those fishermen come back. Okay, well we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. Just be careful. They all left it behind. Oui. On est en prison. 
maison Charbon. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cet, cet endroit est bizarre. Pas le seul. On dit c'est pas grave. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui tue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Pour que... What do you think? I can't get it open. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. I just don't know what shape this ship is in. This old deck could be blocked. I'm gonna just smash through this wall. Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Uh, barricade. Oops, my bad. I didn't mean to press that. Oopsie! I didn't mean to press. I didn't. Mean, I, I I didn't mean to press it. I don't know what I was thinking. I did, I did, I didn't even like mean to press it. I thought I could, uh, I, d I didn't mean to press it, I, I, I was, that was a dumb idea. Oh, there's
What in the world, bro? Jesus, what's next? Man, man. Oh, dang. This game is scary. 